Dear Mrs. Karaman, Excellencies, distinguished partners and colleagues, I'm very pleased to welcome you at this conference and would like to congratulate the Central Electoral Commissions for their 25th anniversary filled with achievements that enable the advancement of the national democratic agenda. More than ever, the Jubilee emphasizes the role of the Central Electoral Commission in ensuring free and fair electoral processes in the Republic of Moldova throughout its history. UNDP Moldova and the Central Electoral Commission have a long partnership spanning for more than 10 years where we have seen important steps being made towards enhancing the transparency of electoral processes, including through the development of the digital tools and platforms. We have also witnessed and helped to build a long-term comprehensive and constructive policy dialogue among the national and the international partners aiming to support the electoral reforms. Within the framework of the two phases of the Admite project and through open discussions, cooperation and synergy of efforts, we sought to address arising challenges in the field of electoral administration, political party finance, voter education, as well as to timely mitigate inconsistencies in the Moldovan legislative framework. And that's because we are convinced that an improved electoral process will lead to the integrity of elections in Moldova that ultimately serves as a key element for the legitimacy of any democracy. Undoubtedly, the elections are a key element of the democracy, which tests the pillars of democratic governance and at the same time reveals the systemic shortcomings that need to be addressed to improve voter opportunities and inclusive representation. UNDP Moldova through this project, the Admite project, and thanks to the partnerships of USAID and the UK, managed to mobilize the needed international expertise, as well as the sharing of best practices and lessons learned from other countries in inclusive and transparent electoral processes. The project also succeeded to support many of the operational activities, referring to the institutional infrastructure and electoral education of the Central Electoral Commission and the Center for Continuous Electoral Trainings. The targeted civic education campaigns, sustainable partnerships with civil society organizations, the direct engagement of the young voters and first-time voters are a well-designed complementation of the technical support for inclusive elections. Among the most compelling IT-related elements of the project's portfolio are the re-engineered address and the Civil Status Act registers, the enhanced state automated information system elections, and the new module for online reporting of political party finance. While more technical by definition, these IT solutions have a human-centered design that constantly enhance the long-term inclusion of the elections in Moldova. Voting results are now presented faster. Polling stations abroad are easier to find and the sources of information are more diverse and user-friendly than ever. In order to trigger the discussion of election-related issues, enhancing information and knowledge, considering the regional and global experiences of electoral challenges, UNDP continues to support the Election Partners Platform by involving more than 40 national and international partners. Moving forward, UNDP stands ready to continue supporting the Central Election Commissions to complete the ongoing reforms and to achieve high improvement to electoral processes. Last but not least, I would like to thank our strategic partners, the USAID, the UK Embassy, for their ongoing and future support in advancing electoral reform and enhancing the Moldovan citizens' engagement, which shall lead inevitably to an improved democratic process in Moldova. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to the conference discussions.